Hey guys, the Nigerian Supreme Court on Friday acknowledged that the Nigerian government acted illegally and irresponsibly when it forcefully brought the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Nandikano, back to the country from Kenya. The Nigerian government in 2021 announced Kano's arrest and extradition to Nigeria to continue to face trial. He was subsequently arraigned with a blindfold before Binta Inyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja. Kanu is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the courts following years of campaigning for the secession of the Republic of Biafra from Nigeria through IPOP. He was granted bail in April 20, uh, 2017 for health reasons, but flew the country after the military attacked his home in Abia State, killing some people. And that was what led to his parents' death. However, the Abyss Court on Friday forted the rearrest and extra judiciary rendition of Kano by the Nigerian government. The court also blamed the trial court for revoking Kano's bail after fleeing the country following the invasion of his home by security agents. Okay, now, where do we, where, where, what is the next? What is the next step now? If the court can acknowledge all these ones now, so why is he still in the custody? Why? Now, They've said the, the Nigerian government is at fault. The way Namdekano was brought to Nigeria, which is against, you know, his fundamental human rights. Now, this man was adopted in Kenya to Nigeria, blindfolded. You know, they, they will always say, Nigerian government will always say he jumped bail. Who will see death? Say you not go wrong. Before your eyes, the army invaded his home and attacked his home at the midnight. About 23 persons were killed in that operation. You understand? He escaped by the grace of God. Then say he jumped bill. The problem is. The federal government of Nigeria, they are the one that escalated this issue. If not, it will not be like this. The first arrest, he was, this, he, he was granted bail. Unasi come in house, come attack him. If not, this matter will not reach like this. Okay, now, this, the Supreme Court now, they have faulted the federal government for all this. So what is he still doing? Because me, I don't even understand again. I don't understand again. Maybe we will hear waiting Nigerians don't talk. Someone said, Indian Dekanu knows that the Nigeria is a lawless country. And that was the reason he always used the word at the end, we, we, we win. And he keep winning them. The case of Indian Dekanu shows the word how low Nigerian government mentality is. And this only happened in a lawless country like Nigeria. This is congratulations to Mazin Namdekano. God bless Simon Ekba. Okay. God bless United States of Biafra. Make we hear what do at the end and you will see hold him. Buari and his northern brothers with their wicked deed. We, the northern Nigeria, northern Nigerian Muslims support the unconditional release of the people, people's general, Namde Kano. What an international disgrace. Nigerian judiciary is a mess. What a messy cont contradiction called, contraction called Ni Nigeria. Abyss called referring to a lower court just to keep on infuriating wickedness on the innocent Biafrans. One thing is certain. One day, be our friends, we be free, and nothing anyone can do about it. May your God, who sent you, continue to be with you, Mazinam Dekano. 
Nigerian courts, they act illegally. Okay. Let them, re let them release him because he is innocent from the beginning till now. One thing I know is that no matter what they do, they must release Mazin Namdekano one day because Mazin Namdekano is not owing them anything. And again, no matter what they do, before Biafra must come and God bless Mazi Simon Ekba and also God bless and continue to protect and guide and take control and take charge over Mazi Namdekano anywhere he is now. Ending ain't winning is for us. I allow Kanu to enjoy his freedom by releasing him unconditionally as committed as he committed no crime. Let me tell the whole Nigeria that Kanu is a star shining over the world, releasing now the Kanu to ensure long lasting tranquility and overall justice in the country. May my God continue to show blessing and uh, Kano whenever he may be released Kano for goodness sake okay guys these are sorry i can't really get that these are reactions from nigerians so guys what's your take on this one now what's your take let's hear from you kindly share your thoughts below the comment section please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.